Hey there. So today I'll show you how you can both split an object based on its materials and combine an object's materials into one material slot if they share the same materials. So let's get right into it. So here we have two different materials. Well, two different objects with two different materials. Uh, one is this one here, which has a different material in the box and a different material on the sphere. And one over here, which has the exact same materials on both the sphere and the box. Now, first, if we select this, you'll see that these are actually one object. So if I open this here, these are baked together. Now, if I go to the mesh renderer, we have a button here called split into separate meshes by material. So if I click that button, I now have two different two different objects. One is the box because that had this material and then one that's the sphere because that had the other material. They also share the same pivot. So if I reset them to zero, 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 they go back to exactly how they were baked before. Now, next over here, if we look at this object here, you'll see that they have two different material slots. However, they use the exact same material. Now, this means that we're actually using two render passes to render first this box here and then the sphere. Instead, what we can do is we can merge the sub meshes with same material to create a singular render pass. So now this renders in one render pass. Now, one thing to keep in mind here is that obviously once you do this, there's no real way back because you now only have one material. So there's no way for you to split it up based on the material as we did over there. Now, I hope that that helped you and I hope you have a nice day. If you got any suggestions for me, I'll leave them in the comments below. Otherwise, have a nice day. Bye bye.